Howdy folks, my name is Damon from RC Scale Models and today I'm back with you again with another kit. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new kit from Academy 148 scale. It's their M6M2B0 Fighter Type 21. Uh, it's from the Battle of Medway uh, Anniversary Edition of the 85th, 80th Anniversary. So th this is a fresh release. So if you're going to fancy buying this kit, it's going to be exactly what you see here. Let's take a look at this one. So a nice box from Academy. Here is what some of the schemes you can get. I do like this blue one. I haven't done the blue one yet. I've always done seem to red markings. So we're going to do a blue one. Looks like you get a uh, mask set, which is nice touch. Around this side, kit number one two three five two. Pretty simple. Simple color callouts. So we have humble. We have guns. We have life color testers masters, which is, doesn't exist anymore. I don't think. Ravel, Vallejo, and AK Interactive. There's no Tamiya paints, which strangely enough, Tamiya do the aircraft colours for Zero, so strangely they're not on there, which I'll be using anyway. So, straight in the back, we have one sprue of wings and clear, lower wing section, huge, large, ended detail, and instructions again from Academy. Strangely, they're doing this weird two-stage instructions. I don't know why they do it like this. I really don't understand it. Decals for your markings. These roundels I'll probably end up painting on because they're the simplest markings to paint as they call the uh, rising sun. Warnings. Tools needed and tips and tricks. Basically it's a bit slim to how Tamiya do this stuff. So let's take a close look at instructions. So Two instructions, I don't know why they do that, but the first one is all black and white. You've got some of your symbols to pay attention to, and then all your colour callouts. As, as I mentioned before, there's no Tamiya, I don't know why. Strangely enough, Tamiya do Japanese aircraft colours, so I don't know. So just pick your references and work with it. There's a pull out page, so very first step you see here is always cockpit area, cockpit floor, flight stick, instrument panel. Nicely detailed, we have some other detailed parts. Step two is the seat, bulkhead, and that nice assembly that gets attached to the floor. And then just behind the uh, front bulkhead, behind the instrument panel, we've got some gu uh, the guns, oxygen bottles. Inside the uh, fuselage half, there's more detailed parts to be attached. Pilot figure, which is nice, optional. Uh, attaching your cockpit to the internals, make sure it's all square. The other side, more detailed parts. So it's very simple. Savage it together, which is as normal. We have this front part over the front to cover up the guns. Um, This step here, number eight, is your engine detail and firewall, propellers or prop, engine cowling, which will be slide moulded, which we'll be showing in a minute, attaching to your engine, your spinner going on, exhaust nozzles, cowlings, I believe they're in the closed position, attaching your front cowling to the aircraft. Again, it's showing you masks, you do get masks for the black ear blades because. The front parts of the blades are like silver and then the back of the blades will have a brown or black to stop the glare on the pilot side. Lower wing section is the wheel, wheel wells, so there's only a couple of parts, don't look too bad. Wheel wells closed, so if you want it in flight. This is for the landing gear down, so again slight differences but not much. Left and right, touching the wheels. Again, there's masks for your wheel covers. This section here is more wheel detail, which would be the wheel doors. Just making sure you've got them all nice and straight. Two halves of your wings coming together. There is a poly cap there. Don't know what that's for. Probably for the drop tanks. You can take it on or off. And now instructions too. 
So now page two in order set in instruction number two. Number fifteen, upper fuselage and attaching to the lower section to make sure it gets nicely clipped in. Little intake to go into. Now you've got your flaps. You can have them posable. If you are, you're gonna have to remove these tabs so they can be slightly adjusted, which is here. And these are all your your flaps, how you want to pose them, which is nice. Obviously the one at the back, the rudder at the back is fixed. Uh, this step here, drop tank going in is optional. Uh, we have this part at the back is for the little towel wheel at the back, closed or non. Rest of the hook going in, deployed or not, or lowered or flight. Wings at the back again are all one piece pretty much. Right. Um, there's no posable flaps. Looks like the gun sight, canopy open or closed, which is a nice touch. Again, you've got your layout for your canopy masks. I have no idea what their mask set are like. Hopefully they should work. Wing tips uh, in flight or down or folded for carrier based. Left and right options. The uh, spinner going on. And then your first set of colours. Actually, this set here is for stencil data and basic colours. So, all aircraft are black nose or black blue nose. And grey green, I believe the colour is for the aircraft. And so, this is all the same. And then the actual main step, main, main decal stencil is. In a minute, this is more stencil data. So your main markings now are here. So like basically the stripes and the uh, serial numbers. So this one here, A1102. We have a Kargi aircraft carrier. We can have the serial number 1152. Uh, again, a Kargi. This one down the bottom, again A11168, red markings, again is from a Kargi aircraft carrier. The one in blue, which I like, is from, I can't pronounce that, but it's the second carrier in the fleet. And this one's from the same carrier. But I do like this blue marking, I'll probably do one of these because I haven't done this type of marking yet. And that is it. Now, kit wise, decals, not really going to get these out of the bag. You can see clearly these are nice and clean and crisp. Actually, I will get them out because it's not sealed. So, carrier film is right up all around the numbers, they are very glossy. These are pretty close around these stripes. I'll probably paint the stripes on mainly and so do I paint these circles on. But the rest of it I'll probably have to use. They don't look too bad. Printed by Academy 2022. I've no idea who they do the decals. They're not cartograph or anything, so just be warned. Oh, there's your mask set. I just imagine it is die cut. So the very first kit parts. So these are fuselage halves. We have the slide moulded nose, engine detail. This is pretty cool. So most of this, like I mentioned before, I like manufacturers that do most of the stuff on the kind of the same sprue. You haven't got to go hunting parts. So the engine details all together, cowling, that kind of thing. And then this other sprue we look at, it's got all the wheel parts and internals all together. So it's nicely done up. Saves, I would say, saves having to hunt for stuff. So here's your front cowling. There's the two cannons that are coming out the front. Yeah, prop doesn't look too bad. <clears throat> Engine detail looks pretty cool as well. You don't see an awful lot because it's such a quite a tight cowling. So a little bit of wiring would probably just be good or look good for that. Some of the plumbing. Now internal detail for. Fuselage. It's 
couple of jet pins you have to take care of. You may see them, may not, which is the ones at the front here, at the back here, I'm not sure. Obviously the front of the aircraft inside is like a greeny colour, similar to the Air Force, Royal Air Force colour. Um, and then the back of the aircraft is this weird metallic blue, um, which is here, which is a good match for that metallic blue colour, which is uh, from guns. So yeah, pretty cool. As for the surface detail, um, it is riveted all over, raised and recessed. Um, yeah, so that's nicely done. Don't know how well. Come on, camera, you're gonna focus. Pick it up. I try and leave some detailed shots at the end, as always. So now, as I say, this is internal parts all together. So all of this is the internal floor, internals, and then all this section at the top is all your landing gear, and it's nicely it's all together. And there's your pilot figure. So he doesn't look too bad for plastic. Your seat doesn't look too bad. You have to drill those holes out a little bit more, but that's how it should be. That's what you get for an instrument panel. Yeah, the basic instrument panel on these aircraft are very, very lacking anyway. Even not every manufacturer doesn't do a massive detailed job on it. You don't see an awful lot neither. That's what you get for guns. As I say, once you've got the uh, the cover over the front, you don't see them anyway, so I don't see the point. Parts of your bulkhead, cockpit floor, wheels. Uh, are they two pieced? Yeah, two piece wheels. Better weighted, which is nice. Uh, landing gear doors for closed and normal. And these are the other halves. The one at the back. A couple of options there. Why is that? We have three sets of uh, wheels at the back. I don't, I don't remember seeing that in instructions, but nonetheless, arms and head for the pilot. Um, the oxygen bottle. Nicely done. So we have two sprues here. You've got your upper wing section, sorry, lower wing section and some detail parts. Two types of nose. Uh, and two types of spinner. Drop tank, two halves, pretty standard. Sadly, the uh, cowlings are in the closed position. Aerials, I'm not sure what that is. But as I say, there's two types of nose cone. So there must be different variants coming out down the line. Again, has that same amount of rivet detail. Nicely done, should be a nice little built kit, I think. These are your wing tips and one of the uh, flaps. Again, these tabs, you do have to remove the two inner ones for them for the flap to be uh, adjusted slightly. And the wing has that uh, effect to it already, so it has that shape. Last bag. Some clear parts, some poly caps. So this is the again upper wing section. These are one piece wings. The other flap. These are the other flaps. There are a couple of jet pins inside there, which is a bit of a pain. And they've got them on the outside as well. Actually, do these two halves go together? I think. And there's your wing tips. See these? Are, I've done a slide molding as well. Get that one shape, wing tip, internal wheel wheel doors or uh, landing landing gear, and then the same amount of surface detail as before. And we do have some weird spidering on the plastic, but once you've got painted primer on it, that should go. Some details on those flaps again, a couple of ejector pins inside there. Another pop loom. So 
spare parts. They pretty look pretty good. Uh, open or closed canopies, a couple of lights. So you know the problem. But and that was it. So as always, a beautiful kit from Academy. It's nicely detailed. There's some nice details in this kit. Is some slide molding you can see. Um, hopefully it goes together nicely. I do like the Japanese aircraft. It wasn't the best of aircraft um, to the later part of the war, but early days of the war it was a uh, formidable fighter. It actually took down a lot of aircraft, but then obviously uh, once the Americans figured out all the weaknesses, they uh, could beat it. But yeah, beautiful kit as always. Should be building this pretty soon. I want to get another Japanese aircraft in the, in the built, built stage. Um, so look out for that, like, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you next time.